Yeah, I roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up. I roll up in the club like I'm real sly. Suit and tie on, looking like I'm real fly. See a cutie in the back, looking real nice. Thinking that she's real shy, baby, that's my real type. Hey y'all, so today I am going to be doing a kind of simple laid back fall look. So, um, this is nothing too extreme, nothing too dramatic. This is just a nice go to fall look for a like, you know, kind of more laid back special events. I know not everybody likes super, super drama on their eyes, so I wanted to give y'all just kind of a easy go to look. It's just, you know, a few, few transition colors, a deepening outer V color, and a lid color. That's all this is. And if you like what's on my eyes, please keep watching. And also, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And it just, you know, I love doing videos and I really enjoy it. And I hate that I haven't been doing it as much as I should be. And I'm not going to give you this long rambly intro. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Oh, and in case you couldn't tell by the title, this will be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I love Jaclyn Hill. Her eyeshadows that she did with Morphe, this palette is amazing. Definitely suggest you buy it if you can get it in restock. Alright, anyways, to the video. So today, I'm not just 100% sure what I want to do. I just know that I want to go with a kind of like simple fall look. Nothing too over the top, kind of something that you can use. Oh my. Alright, so I'm using my Jaclyn Hill palette, and today the first color I'm going to go in with is going to be Silk Cream, and it is going to be that shit. I'm going to go in with Silk Cream, and Silk Cream is going to be a nice transition shade. It's going to be a nice transition shade. It's not going to do like, it's not going to be a super dark color, but it is just there to kind of help give you that seamless blend and in the end just kind of like pull everything together because what you're wanting to do is to go you don't want to just take a brown eyeshadow and throw it in your crease and then expect to have like a nice smoky dimensional eyeshadow to get that dimension and to get those layers and that smoked out kind of just gradient effect you have to use multiple colors to get a nice gradient going and so i'm taking this silk cream and this color i'm not being you know i'm not being super precise with how i'm putting this on and also i'm using the mac a mac 224 and this is like my ride or die brush i love this brush and then i'm just gonna go on to the other eye and do the same thing. What I want to show y'all here is how you can use just a few colors to get a really nice look and that it's really not that hard. If you just have the right tools, you really can get a good look and if you're using the right brushes also it can help like you want a nice fluffy blending brush for this crease stuff so you can really this 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 brush is a little bit like rough the tip isn't it's not necessarily soft and that's good because it's really picking up that pigment and it really blends it out onto the eye This will be the color that goes the closest to the brow bone. And if you are not familiar with makeup, this is the brow bone area. This is your outer V. This is your lid. And then all of this is your crease. To kind of give you a map out of what we're doing. And you don't want that to completely go onto the brow bone because you want the brow bone to stay a lighter shade because you want the brow bone to be highlighted. You want that area to pop out more. All 
Alright, now once that you have silk cream all blended into your outer V and crease, I think I'm going to go in with Pooter. Yeah, <laughs> that shade is so funny, but Pooter, this is going to be a little bit darker. I wanted to show you. This is just a little bit darker of a brown. I know it doesn't seem that different, but it is. And with this shade, we're going to be a little bit more careful with pooter. Kind of keeping it really tucked into that crease and that outer V and then kind of like you want most of that pigment to go into that crease, that outer V and then you want to kind of slightly blend it up. But, as you see, I'm not taking that color nearly as high. Not nearly. I'm just going to go on up, making sure those edges are all really good and blended. And see how I'm just subtly adding more dimension to the eye? Also, one makeup rule that I really stick by is mattes only in the crease. Because technically, in your crease and in your outer V, you are wanting to force contour, kind of. So, you want matte, darker colors, not shimmery colors that are grabbing the light. This, what I'm doing here, my my brush did not have any product on it. I had a little fallout and I kind of swept it away. But I'm also kind of like blending this outer edge down to my lower lash line. The next color I'm going to go with Pukey. To add a little bit more dimension because this will go good with my top. Pukey is that color right there. And it is a... <laughs> It's a baby puke color. And this is kind of getting a little too red and I'm wanting to kind of go with more of a kind of mustardy almost look. And this pukey is going to bring that yellow tone, that mustard tone back into the look. while adding yet some more dimension. That's what, that is everything with eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is all about dimension. Now, that stuff wasn't necessarily needed, needed, but I added it just for an extra dimension. But if you want to go in with just those first two transition colors, that's fine too. But now that I have all my transition colors that I like on my eye, I'm going to go in with a color to darken that outer V. And I think the color that I want to go with to darken the outer V, one that I've really been loving is Mocha, but I've really been loving Buns too. But I think Buns is going to have a little bit too much of a red tone in it. So I'm going to be going in with Mocha, this color right here. It's a nice medium, kind of neutral tone. It's not too warm, not too cool brown. And I'm not taking a whole lot of this. Have that extra off. And this... See how I'm patting that in that outer V? I'm not going crazy with it and just throwing it everywhere. 
being super gentle. Kind of, the, I'm, I'm using more of a circular motion for this because I'm not wanting to windshield wiper this. I'm definitely wanting to kind of keep this in this area, but I want it to be blended out at the same time. Now I'm going to take what's left on the brush just so everything kind of goes in seamless and just blend it all together. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Well, I guess I'm going to be showing y'all how to make it work with things when you don't have what you need. So today I'm going to be making it do with this MAC 252 brush to do the underneath of my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Pukey and I'll take um, Pooter. Mix those two together. Gonna connect that. And then I'm gonna go in with mocha and I'm gonna go in really close to that lash line. find my pencil brush I'm just gonna go in blend it out like that now because I don't like for my eyeshadow to just completely take over underneath there I'm gonna be taking some face powder and cleaning up underneath here. I'll take this brush. This is my powder brush. Wipe away any of that excess. And now, to finish off the look, I'm gonna go in with some gold on my lid to make this just a super fall look. And the gold I'm going to be using, I have stuff all over my hands. Really, it's so cute. I don't know the name of the gold I'm using. Oh, here, here's the card. Queen. I'm using Queen right there. I'm going to take that on my finger because these are amazing. And you use them with your finger. Make sure your finger's clean. Oh my gosh, that is just beautiful. 
So fall. So fall. Uh, this, like, shadow is almost wet. Seriously, like, feels like a cream. To make sure the colors are good and blended, I'm gonna go in like that with a clean brush. The clean brush. Now I'm gonna go back in with that. I'm gonna go back in with the 252 brush. Yes. I'm going to make sure it's good and clean. I'm going in with beam on my brow bone. I'm going to focus that. Sorry, my, it's right in my face. I'm focusing that right under the arch of my brow. A little some in the inner corner because why not? Alright, so I'm going to throw on some liner and put on some mascara and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I just threw on some mascara. I decided to not do liner and lashes because I thought this was kind of just a really nice, just kind of laid back look. And I wanted to not put too much drama on the eyes because I wanted to wear a red lip. So I added a red lip with this. I think that you could wear it with a nude lip and I think it... This look is just great for fall. No matter what, it is going to look good if you're going to a football game. It doesn't matter. Cocktail party, it doesn't matter. This is going to look good. It's going to photograph well. And that's another thing I wanted to really point out. The more dimension you have on your look, the better it's going to photograph. So I wanted to thank you all so much for watching. It means so much. If you like this video, please click the like button down below. And if you want, subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. And I guess other than that, thank you so much for watching. And bye, y'all. I roll up in the club like I'm real sly. Suit and tie on, looking like I'm real fly. See a cutie in the back looking real nice. Thinking that she's real shy, baby. That's my real type. Walked up and said, hey, can I buy you?